Welcome back to the breakdown with Luke. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Flex Solar 20 watt portable solar panel. Now, this is a great little solar panel to make sure that at an affordable price, you have some solar power to at least recharge your phone, maybe I'll refill a battery pack during the day to recharge it overnight, and more. With power outages, always a real possibility. And as we saw with the recent severe weather in the South and Florida area, we are always keeping some solar panels in our personal emergency kit. Here's one I picked up. I wanna break down the pros and cons of it, let you know what you can use this for, what you shouldn't use this for, and what you should expect for it from it if you buy it. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it for my own personal use, but to also review for you. Pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and uh, have it be wrong. Check out the show notes and in the first pinned comment for the current price. And lastly, if you like what we do, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up, doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. You can check out our over 500 other reviews, tips, tricks, and more, just like this one. Let's start off taking a look at the actual device itself. It's a pretty standard. It's got a nice little full, uh, flap here for storage that can open up. Two solar panels here. These are two 10 watt panels. On the side, there is a little, um, oh, let me pull my finger there. Sorry, it's having a hard time focusing. USB and USB-C, so two out, so you can charge up to two devices at once with this. Now there's a catch there I'll talk about in a quick second. Beyond that, not a whole lot to say with it. This is called a flex panel, but I would highly recommend you not flex this. This is not meant to be rolled up or um, anything like that. You will damage the solar panel if you flex it too far. There's also two hooks here. It does come with two carabiners so that you can hang this on the back of a backpack or wherever you want to get sunlight while you go. As much of the sunlight, direct sunlight as possible is best for this. Let's take a look at everything that came with this, talk about a few pros and cons. Start off with it being a 20 watt solar panel. Now that's 20 watts in total, which means you need to uh, keep that in mind. If you plug in two devices, you're getting two 10 watts out, which is slower than a um, typical standard charge. Now 20 watts through a si to a single device, like an iPhone or an Android phone, will generally generate a what's called a rapid or fast charge, depending on your device, for a faster than normal charge. The newest iPhones and newest Android phones do max charge higher than 20 watts, but the iPhone 15 standard, for example, was only a 20 watt charger. So this will max charge an iPhone 15 to give you an idea here. Now this is a pretty nice little battery pack uh, or a charger to be paired with a battery pack is how I would recommend to do this. What I have got this in my emergency pack is with a 20,000 milliamp battery pack with the idea that I would plug this into the battery pack to recharge it all day, just throughout the day. And then at night, I can take that battery pack inside, plug it into my phones, tablets, and I like to recharge those um, overnight as I sleep. I would recommend at least 20 watts for an emergency panel like this if you're one person. Now, if you have multiple people in your house, you may want to consider a 40 watt or uh, even higher, larger one if you're trying to charge you know, three or four phones at once, tablets, Nintendo Switches, and the like. This is really meant to just recharge one device at a time is how I would personally use this device. With that said though, if you're a single person, you want something small or you're hiking, you want something small and light to take with you for power. Because if you're like me, when you're out in nature, it's fun, but I also love to bring audiobooks. Anybody ever just be out camping, listen to a good audiobook on your phone? It can kind of help make sure your um, battery pack keeps going. I always love that someday when I'm just sitting there looking at nature and listening to a good book. Overall, I would recommend this. It worked as expected. It did successfully um, uh, give a rapid charge to our Pixel 9 Pro, our Nintendo Switch fully charged, and our tablet, wireless earbuds, and the like without any problems. Again, direct sunlight is best. It will work in limited sunlight, but you will reduce the total wattage out. It's getting 20 watts when in direct sunlight. So overall, two thumbs up. A good product does what it says it's going to do. The quality of build is good, and I love the size and form factor of it. So I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If you like what we do here, please, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know if you have a question. We'll try to answer them in the comments. Until next time, take care everybody.